let's talk about it. How did I lose seven kilos or 16 pounds within a few months? Seven steps. And this is coming from a person who I was so lost about it for a long time. And I wasn't sure. I watched videos, I read things, I did all kinds of malarkey in order to get to where I am. And I'm not finished going to where I'm going. Um, but I will start this story off by firstly telling you my height and my weight, where I'm trying to get to, and then I'll tell you the reason and the path, and then I'll tell you the seven steps. So I started off at 75 kilos, which is this many pounds. I'm 170 centimeters, which is five foot seven. I got there with a trifecta of reasons. Number one, the global issues that we've all been going through. Excuse me, touching my hair. I'm just gonna get into this video. I also had a baby and I also got incredibly invasive foot surgery. So I was on crutches and unable to move around. The whole piece about the baby isn't just the fact that I got like baby weight, but it was the fact that I had hyperemesis gravidarum. If you guys have followed me in this um, format because of it, it's a really popular video on my channel. It's basically um, when you throw up a lot, you can't keep down liquids or solids and you just go into shock with your body. You have to be on IVs and you cannot keep any food down. Sometimes though, when you come out of that experience, what happens is your body then starts to hold on to liquid and, and calories basically. Um, both psychologically and also physically. The reason is you've been starved for so long and then suddenly you start eating and psychologically your brain just doesn't understand that you will be fine and you will get food. So I just started eating and also I was postpartum with a small child, like I wasn't sleeping. So all I turned to was fast carb heavy foods. In context, in the past, before all of this happened, I was 58 kilos. So that is almost 20 kilos. Well, not almost 20 kilos, but do you know what I mean? 58 to 75 is a whole world difference. The reason I wanted to lose weight is so many reasons. And I trust that I don't need to put a disclaimer on this video because this isn't for teenagers. I'm a woman in my thirties. This video is for everybody, but it's not for children. It's not for teens. And it's not for people who haven't gone through this kind of scenario. So if you want to lose weight, girl, I'm here for you, I'll tell you. I'm, I don't need to kind of make a disclaimer about the fact that you are beautiful the way you are. Of course you are, we all know that. But I felt the best and most beautiful at probably around 60 kilos. That is like my happy weight. Even now that I'm down to 68, I can move better. I can run after my son. And let me tell you about the clothing piece. When you love clothing and fashion and you like to dress up and then nothing in your wardrobe fits you, it's a hugely first world problem, but it's deeply psychological where you're like, wow, I don't know how to dress myself. I don't know how to present myself in the world. It becomes really, really sticky. It's almost as if I got some kind of binge eating disorder because of the hyperemesis. I didn't actually get a binge eating disorder, but I just had this random feeling about food that, you know, it's okay. I'll just eat all these nachos. It's okay. I'll just, I don't even eat nachos, it's a funny um, choice. Um, I'll just eat these Doritos or something and it'll be fine. It's almost like I was like in this starvation, just trying to get in calories. Until I woke up one day, like in September, because it was my birthday in September. It's now November, so September, October, November. It's about three-ish, two-ish months that this took me to do. And I was like, no, I'm done. And that was step number one, a mindset shift. It's... It was almost like I was tired. I think the first step you have to take in really changing your life in any set of circumstances, but weight loss in this example, is the suffering of the situation has to outweigh the pleasure. There was two years, my son is two, for which I just felt more cozy and more calm and better just eating rubbish and not looking after myself than I did doing the opposite. Do you know what I mean? But then the suffering of treating my body like that, always being tired, always being lethargic, since I've changed that, my mind is on fire. I am studying, I am working, I am looking after a toddler, I am running a business. It is a madness, okay? And I've also, in the same time, grown my TikTok from zero to 300,000 subscribers, just because I have the tenacity to do that. So it's like a mindset shift. 
it's like you have to make a decision, a choice. To decide in Latin is to cut off all options. Decide, the decision is like an incision to cut off all other options. I just decided, that's it. I wanna be hot. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of not wearing cute clothes I wanna wear. And for context, some people look amazing at any shape and size. I like myself in a certain look, in a certain way. That's what I like tired of it mindset shifted I was like okay birthday done new era it's just a new era that one's finished we finished eating junk okay number two when we finished eating junk this is step two I went on a keto diet what is a keto diet it's a diet predominantly sourced from fats good healthy fats olive oil avocado uh, steak, uh, salmon, you know, fatty things like that, nuts, um, as well as protein, eggs, fish, chicken, and I took out sugar. I completely cut out sugar, okay? And I cut out not carbohydrates because vegetables are carbohydrates. I eat green vegetables, but I cut out starchy vegetables for now until I get to my goal. My goal is 60-ish. I will assess it, you know, if I get to 62 and I'm like, yep, this feels good, then I'll stop. It's not a be all and end all for me, but I wrote down that that is what I'm going to do. But the magic about the keto diet, guys, is pure magic. It makes your brain fire at this capacity. For the first week, you get like this keto flu, which your body changes from burning carbs and sugars to burning fat, which you eat, and your own body fat. Your body switches to burning your own body fat and then your hunger goes away it's like magic so basically i don't count calories i cannot do that i just cannot put my mind into a toxic place where i'm counting things i'm eating why are we counting things we're eating that is absolutely unnatural to any human experience or existence imagine being a caveman with a little scale counting i just cannot uh, Keto diet has allowed me to get back to my intuition and I know that once I get out of it, when I am at the way I, I, I want to be, I can actually hear my body now. Like the cloud of not being able to hear anything and just hearing survival mode, eat whatever, is gone. I can actually hear if I'm hungry or not. And also with that, I did intermittent fasting. Not a huge amount. So keto diet, if you want another video on exactly the ins and outs of it, I can do that for you. Step number three, vitamins. Um, I started taking vitamins and supplementing in the areas after having done a blood test where I was deficient. I got an iron infusion. Oh my God, babe, if you've got iron deficiency after having a child, let me tell you, your life will change if you get that iron infusion. It's like not a joke. I have energy to do stuff. It's mad. Um, if you also want a video on my vitamin routine, I can do that for you. But supplementation is vital, okay? Number four, and these are very interesting concepts, four to seven. Number four is self-perception. I had the self-perception of myself after this, not so much after I had a child, but after the surgery of this like dowdy, I want to hide hermit persona. I don't know where I got it, but I think it's the trifecta again of the pandemic, having a baby and a surgery. It's such a big three some of events that just made me want to go into myself and in september i woke up and i realized no i actually want to perceive myself as hot milf living that life and i switched my self-perception it's like you know when you go to the movie and you watch and you see the main character and it infiltrates you so much that you walk out of the cinema thinking that you're the main character like walking like them talking like them not outwardly but you know what i mean like a little bit of you thinks you're them that's self-perception and self-image so i had to change that instead of thinking like i'm this little hermit animal that just hermit crab that wants to hide i was like no you know i want to be like out there and living that milf life so step number five is in order to switch your self-perception you need to love yourself the way you currently are and it's really really difficult because this is the mind control thing in this situation if you cannot love yourself the way you currently are despite being lacking in your own mind not in my mind in your own mind you're lacking in my mind i was like i'm just this hermit crab leave me alone world um if i cannot love myself the way i am then i cannot 
put good food in my body and worship myself for who I am, you know, this whole feminine energy piece does not fit in. If I don't like myself and I don't love myself the way I am, despite being 75 kilos and feeling awful, I cannot go from treating my body badly with food that I shouldn't be putting in it to treating my body well with glorious, amazing, high sourced, gorgeous foods. If I'm like, you stupid, fat, annoying crab, then there is no motivation to go and look after myself. I'd be looking after my son and everyone else and not myself. So I was like, do you know what? I love me the way I, I am. I stopped for two years. I put, put off buying clothes or like getting a dress. If there was an event, I just completely put that off because I was like, well, this isn't the self image of me that I'm used to. I want another self image of me. So I'm going to wait. I'm not going to love you the way you are. I'm going to wait until you get to who I like and then I'll buy you new clothes. But you know how the body hears that? It hears that as it's not loved. And in fact, a lot of retention of weight is due to the fact that the body feels judged, unloved, and is trying to protect itself. I know that's a debacle of the mind, but it is true. Once you give yourself self-love, your body almost like takes a breath out, a sigh out, and it's like, okay, I'm loved, I'm looked after, I will drop the weight, you know? It's, it's very interesting. Number five, the physical aspect. Sorry, number six, the physical aspect. I started doing Pilates three times a week and I walk more, I'm more active, but that's because I'm lighter and it's easier to walk, okay? And also I've recovered from my surgery, so that's a whole <laughs> shift in itself. I, um, you need to find something you love to do physically. Anything you love to do physically, do it. I love reformer Pilates. Let me tell you, I love it because I love isolating the little muscles. I like it when my brain's engaged in the activity that I'm doing. I like to be like, oh, this is difficult. How do I put my foot in this loop and do this? It's really, really cool. So I love that aspect of it. And number seven, when you are stuck, it feels like nothing will shift. Whether it be in career, weight, love, anything, it feels like nothing will shift, but you need to expect it to. You need to want it without desperation you need to want it with expectation. When I used to want to fit into dresses, it was with desperation. I was like, why am I in this situation? Like, I just want to wear my cute dress. I just want to feel good in front of people. I just, who am I? And then in September it shifted. I was like, this, I am going to be who I am. I love myself the way I am and this weight will fall off. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But I expect it to, because why wouldn't it? Because I'm going to treat my body the best. And the biggest piece of expectation was, if I love myself and give my body the best and it decides to stay at 70 kilos, then it's gonna be the most toned and hot 75 kilos ever. And I'll be fine with that. And I'll buy myself a new wardrobe. There was this expectation though that because I'll treat myself well and right and do the right things by me, it will result in something good. So that's the seventh, seventh piece. I hope this video gave you some kind of insight and you know motivation although it's not about motivation it's about really you know self-perception identity and all those amazing things i'm not finished if you guys have questions about this whole process leave it in the comments i'm happy to make this a series if you want it to be a series name it name the series okay guys love you lots like jelly tots and i'll see you in the next one